Let's say that there's a contract where you can deposit a ERC20 token. The usual process is for you to first approve this contract to be able to spend your token, and then you would call this function deposit. When this function is called, it calls token.transfer from. So that's two transactions, approve and then transfer from. However, some ERC20 contract allows you to approve and transfer from in a single transaction. So let's take a look. Here I have a standard interface for the ERC20 contract. What we'll do first is define the function called permit. The function permit takes in the owner, the spender, and the amount to be spent, the signatures, and the deadline for the last time that the signature is valid. If the signature is valid, then anyone can call this function to approve the spender to spend value amount of tokens from the owner. And the signature will be signed by the owner. Back in our bulk contract, since we added the function permit, inside the IERC20, I renamed this to IERC20 permit. So back inside our bulk contract, I'll also rename this from IERC20 to IERC20 permit. And then I'll do the same for all of the IERC20s. I'll change this to IERC20 permit. And now let's discuss how we can transfer a token in one transaction without calling the approve function. The basic idea is to call permit, passing in the signature, and then calling transfer from. So I'll create a function called deposit with permit. And for the parameters, we'll pass in the amount to deposit, uint amount, and some parameters for the signature, uint deadline. This will be the deadline for when the signature is last valid. And then some parameters for the signature, uint 8b bytes 32r and bytes 32s. We will define this function as external and what we'll do is call permit and then call the function transfer from. Let's go back to IERC20 permit to see how to call the function permit. The function permit takes in these parameters so I'll copy this and then paste it here and then I'll comment this out so that we can see what parameters we need to pass. I'll type token.permit the owner will be message.sender. The spender will be this contract. So that will be address. This value will be amount that we're going to be depositing. And then we pass in the rest of the parameters. Deadline B R N S. If this function executes correctly, then this is like calling approve. So this is how we say one transaction. And then the rest will be the same. We'll do a transfer from. So I'll copy this from the function deposit and then paste it here. And this is how you can transfer an ERC token in one transaction without calling the function approve. Let's now write some tests and then actually call this function deposit with permit. First, I'll make sure that this contract compiles. So I'll open my terminal and type npx hard hat compile. And the contract compiles. So let's now write some tests. I'll open my file navigator and click on tests. And then we'll create a new file called ERC20 permit.js. Now I'll open also verify signature and then copy all of this, paste it into the file erc20 permit, and then we'll remove the content inside here. I'll rename this to erc20 permit and we'll change the title of the test to erc20 permit. For this test, what we'll do is get the account, deploy some contract, sign some signature for the permit, and then call the function deposit with permit. So the first step is to get some accounts. So I'll say const accounts is equal to a wait eaters dot get signers. For this example, we only need one signer. So I'll put one inside here. And then we'll say that the signer const signer is the first account, account zero. Next, we will deploy a token and the bulk contract, but we don't have a token contract yet, so let's define it inside the contract folder. So inside the contract folder, I'll create a new file called token.soul. And for this example, I'll use the ERC20 from soulmate. So I'll open my terminal and then type npm i at rari capital slash soulmate. Once we install Soulmate, we'll import ERC20 contract into our file called token.soul. So I'll define the headers and import ERC20 from Soulmate. And then we'll create a contract called token, contract token. This will inherit the ERC20 from Soulmate, so is ERC20. And then we'll initialize the constructor by typing constructor is ERC20. 
This will take in three parameters, the name, we will name it token, the symbol, we will name it also token, and decimals 18. And then we'll expose the internal function called mint, which will mint tokens. So I'll say function mint, it will take in two parameters, the address to mint to and the amount to mint. So I'll say address to uint amount. This function will be external and we will simply call the internal function mint with an underscore to for the amount. And that completes the token contract. So let's go back to our test file ERC20 permit and we will deploy the token contract. We will deploy the token contract by typing const token is equal to await ethers dot get contract factory and then pass in the name of the contract will be token and then we'll deploy it so we'll say const lowercase token is equal to await token dot deploy and then we'll wait for the token to be deployed so we we'll say await token dot deploy we'll do something similar to deploy the bulk contract replace the token with bolt and the bulk contract takes in a single parameter of address of the token so inside the deploy function we'll pass in token dot address Next, we'll mint some tokens to deposit into the vault. The amount that we're going to mint, let's say 1000, and we'll call the mint function on the token. So I'll type await token.mint to signer that address for the amount amount. Okay, we're almost there. Let's prepare the input to call the function deposit with permit. For this example, we'll keep it simple and say the deadline is maximum uint. So I'll say const deadline is equal to Ethers dot constants dot max uint to 56. Now, if we go back to the bulk contract, we also need to prepare the signature parameters B, R, and S. And we also don't know what message we're signing. So let's take a look at what message we're signing by opening node modules, scrolling down, looking for a folder called Rari Capital, Rari Capital, source tokens ERC20 then I'm looking for a function called permit and there it is let's take a look at what message we're supposed to be signing so if you check over here then you can see that this is the message that we need to sign now to recreate this message is a little bit complicated so what I'm gonna do is try to find code on the internet that already implements this after doing some Googling, I found out that Uniswap B3 already has a code to create the message to sign for the function permit. So I'll copy this function called get permit signature. We'll paste it inside our test contract ERC20 permit. And then we'll modify this function that we just copied. I'll remove the TypeScript type annotations. We're not going to need this permit config, so I'll also remove this. And then also remove the permit config from the rest of the code. Now this function split signature is imported from ethers.utils. So I'll prefix this function with ethers.utils split signature. And I think we're good with rest of the code. So by calling this function get permit signature, we'll be able to get the signature to pass to the function deposit with permit. So I'll scroll down and then I'll type const the signature parameters brns is equal to await get permit signature passing in the signer the token the address of the spender this will be bolt dot address and the amount and the deadline and lastly we'll call the function deposit with permit by calling await bolt dot deposit with permit for the amount with the deadline and then the signature parameters b r and s once we call the function we expect that this amount of token was transferred from the signer over to the bulk contract so we'll write a simple test case to check that the balance of the bulk has increased expect a weight token dot balance of bulk dot address we transferred this much amount from the signer to the bulk contract so we expect the balance of the ball to equal amount. Okay, let's now run the test. So I'll open my terminal, clear the logs, and then type mpx hardhat test test erc20 permit.js.
I made an error with the function get permit signature. So I'll go back and remove export. Okay, I fixed the test, so we'll run the test again. And the test passed. So we were able to approve this bulk contract to spend our token and then actually transfer it in a single transaction by calling the function permit and then calling transfer from.